This New Day cooking segment brought to you by Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery, powered by Electrolux. So whether you're camping out or climbing a rock or hiking the backcountry, outdoor adventures and are always very renewing. Dirty Gourmet is a website and blog dedicated to enjoying good food in the great outdoors, and now they have a brand new cookbook. So please welcome one of the authors, Emily Nielsen. Congratulations. Thank you. The book is beautiful. Thank you. And it sort of goes to show you don't have to just put the same old stuff in your backpack. You can do some pretty cool things. Absolutely, and it's easy to do. So let's talk about what we're going to make today. This looks so amazing. <laughs> today, this is one of our easiest recipes, I would say. This is spiced nuts with shallots, and the shallot is the secret ingredient. So wow. with camping food, that's a lot of times what we will do is think real simply, and what can you do to just elevate it one step really simply so that you don't have to go overboard with a lot of techniques and ingredients coming out with you. And it's delicious and better than just, you know, putting plain pack of nuts in there. I'm just going to snack while she talks <laughs> about this. Okay, so how do we get started? All right, so really simply, um, you're going to start with a uh, cast iron skillet is generally what we like to do, and we can put this on your grate of your campfire or the top of your two burner camp stove. So either way is fine. Okay. Um, and on a low heat is fine. And you're going to just basically dump all of this together. So start with Simple a little enough. bit of oil, about a tablespoon of oil. Okay. And I'm going to chop some garlic. And I'm chopping the garlic into little chips instead of uh, little small, because that's going to make it so that it doesn't burn as easily. And you'll actually see it coming in through the nuts. Do you want me to go ahead and put the nuts um, in? Yep, you can dump the nuts. And then okay. you can also dump the paprika. So we've got about two teaspoons of paprika there. So the whole thing. Yep. All right. So you sprinkle those around. Now, quick question. Why is the shallot the magic ingredient? Well, it's just nice to be able to bring something fresh in the backcountry while you're thinking about um, avoiding too much perishability. And so sh shallot and garlic are perfect for that. Um, and then it's just that little something special that people will notice as you eat the nuts. So everyone will kind of pick out. It gets caramelized. It gets a little chewy. Mm. Um, and the longer these sit, the better they get. Oh, now that's a good thing. Yes. That is a good Which thing. Okay. Easy. So I just want to ask you quickly while we're doing our work here, tell me about in. Dirty Gourmet. Yeah, so Dirty Gourmet started as a blog um, about eight years ago when my two partners went on a bike tour across Canada and they camped the entire summer. And I was living in the woods myself at the time. And what? so we all. You were, wait a minute, you were living. <laughs> slow down. You were living in the woods. I was living in the woods. Yeah, uh, as I people worked do. At an outdoor science school teaching science to sixth graders at the time. And so we all had been in a situation where we were just eating standard camp food um, the entire time and really needed to update that what that meant mm -hmm. and so we came together after all of this coming up with some great recipes and started thinking about camping food a little differently so most people think what is camp food it's hot dogs it's peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for us we thought what do we like to make at home and what are we craving out there and how can we campify it so how can we simplify it with ingredients techniques um, and dishes because nobody wants to do dishes if they don't have to out in the back country and uh, it's, we realized ah. that's a really easy so way to like think this about food. Be pretty amazing. And did you guys test all of these recipes? You kind of test yes, around absolutely. Out, out in the woods. Yes, we did quite a lot of camping <laughs> to build this book, which was not a terrible thing. So no, not a terrible thing, <laughs> and that's really good because you know you don't know what you don't know, right? You get out in the middle of nowhere with things that don't work. That's absolutely. not a good thing. So, so what, what other kinds of recipes do you have in there? Give us a um, so the book specific. is organized into well, three different more. categories, and I'm going to give you this shallot okay. here. Ready for and it? And dump that in. And again, all of this is just going in all at once, and we're just going to let it heat over a low heat slowly, and it's all going to kind of meld together. It um, smells good. But Can the, you guys smell this? <laughs> I'm just kind of releasing this deliciousness. So yeah, the book is organized into three main categories. There is on the trail category, um, which is sort of stuff that you make at home that needs minimal prep. The next is backcountry, so that's really taking into account perishability, weight, and how much space it's going to take up in your pack. And then the car camping and campfire style food, which is wonderful for if you have the resources, you have the ability to bring a cooler out there and a big right. group, a big family, that kind of thing. So. Well, and the fact that the power goes out pretty much every Thanksgiving <laughs> or right around then, this could be another thing that, that we could do at home, right? Totally so you guys also have yeah. workshops and you cater things. Mm -hmm. Tell me about those 
those services? Yeah, so we do camp cooking services for large group events, usually with big companies who are taking participants out into the wilderness and giving them a camping experience. And we try to integrate food to make it a uh, part of the camping experience. So really authentic <coughs> camp cooking. We try to do a lot of Dutch ovens and campfire. Dutch oven. You can make the best brownies in the Dutch oven. Yes, I mean yeah, you the can. best brownies. <laughs> So and after that, you don't need anything else. Yep. Uh, but you also uh, teach workshops we do. and kind of help people get if they're camping for the first time or they're very experienced. This is still kind of a new thing. Yep, and we can cater those to whatever the experience is. We'll be teaching at REI's Outessa this summer, and so it's, a, it's an a, event for women in the outdoors to give them some adventure. Um, access, which is really, really fun. So. And there's the website. We can go on there and kind of tool around and see yeah. what we can find. Do you have a favorite? Oh, there's, it's a hard question. Um, one of my favorites is skillet enchiladas. So we love to be able to do things where yeah, we don't really have to bake. Mm -hmm. And if you can figure out how to bake on a stove top like this, then that's a good, a good choice. So. And so do we actually have to carry the, the heavy skillet out to the backwoods? No, absolutely oh, not. This I was so relieved. I thought, recipe, I can't do the axe so. throwing. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I can't carry this. Unless a horse skill. that's going to carry it for you. I don't <laughs> recommend it. This is for car camping, um, but you could actually, we have a, the skillet enchiladas recipe is a backcountry recipe, so we do it in a real lightweight, small skillet. Okay, so where, if I'm going to get this book and I'm going to start out, what's the easiest thing? Right here. This. Spice nuts. So we, one of my tips is to always have an appetizer waiting for your guests um, and that's really quick to prepare right. while you're getting all of your uh, actual meal set up. This is something that you can just have somebody take their time making the campfire and this at the same time um, and then that'll keep them happy. That's a really good idea. Okay, so you've come out of the woods now. You live... In yes, a, I live in a condo. real city. In a city. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm glad you were out in the woods so you could figure all this out for us. We appreciate it. This recipe will be on our website for you to try out. It is delicious. And all three authors of Dirty G Gourmet will be at Seattle REI, as we mentioned, tomorrow night from 6.30 to 8. And everybody in our audience today is going home with a copy of this book. So I think Ooh. you'll enjoy that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank you. Me. Next up on New Day, enjoy outdoor adventures at home with some stylish ways to make the most of your patio, deck, or yard. We'll be back in a minute.